Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of January reading for you all. January 1st through the 15th reading for Sagittarius. How are you all today? I'm undecided. I think I want this one. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. Hope everybody's having great holidays. Happy New Year, you all. I can't believe it's already January 2021. Kind of crazy. If you guys are like me, you're kind of welcoming <laughs> the new year. Let's try this again, right? If you guys are traveling or going anywhere, please be safe. So you guys are aware too, whenever I do the readings, you know, I, I give a specific date, but it's not always that date. It can be before, it can be after, so I just want you all to be aware of that. Everybody's on a little bit of a different time schedule. Oops. This one. All right, let's see what we got. Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, The Wheel, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Clarifying, Five of Wands. Nine of Swords, and the Moon. Hmm. Hostilities, Cornucopia. Well, it looks like if you're having hostilities right at the moment, or if somebody's being hostile to you, it might be changing in the very near future. <laughs> in the near future, the situation will improve in the near future. Well, there you go. Cute. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. You know, when I get the hostilities, the situation will improve in the near future, even before I got those two cards, for heaven's sakes. Especially with these cards over here, it's almost like that you all are either um, bickering, quarreling, fighting, disagreeing um, with someone around you. Now, for some reason, I mean, for maybe for some of you all, it could be someone in your family or friends or neighbors or stuff like that. But I almost feel like for a lot of you guys, it may be someone that you work with or someone that has to do with your job, your business, um, or someone to that extent. Because when I get this five of wands, you know, this is the tug of war. This is maybe you all disagreeing and no, I'm right. No, you, they think they're right or whatever it is. And then when I get the nine of swords, it's like uh, something that's under your skin, something that is um, making you not sleep good at night. Or when you do go to bed, that's kind of what you're thinking of. But then when I get this moon card, it almost makes me feel like that there may be something that you're not seeing or that you're not hearing the whole side of the story, the whole truth that's, that's out there. So when I get the hostilities and these three cards over here, I'm feeling like that there's someone that's doing you wrong. Let's put it that way because that's how I feel. And you guys aren't taking it anymore and you're fighting back, and I don't mean literally fighting, but you're, you're disagreeing and you're standing up for what you believe in and what's right. And then all of a sudden, I feel like with this moon card, either there's going to be some sort of truth that comes out or um, 
news possibly that pops up or some sort of acknowledgement maybe and all of a sudden things are going to get clear and you're going to be like okay i get it now i get where you're coming from i get why you're saying that i get why you're throwing me under the bus whatever it is for you you understand it a lot more than you did maybe yesterday or last week so all of a sudden things are going to get clear and then with that being said there's going to be like something that opens up that puts you in a different spot in your life in a different um better situation in your life because i get these pinnacles and i get the ace of pinnacles and the nine of pinnacles when i get both of these pinnacles just like this too right i feel like that you all are either going to be somehow financially rewarded or you're going to be get some kind of a financial gain possibly now, some of you all may be fighting with someone over a lawsuit or, you know, over a buying or selling a business. Maybe you're, maybe it's even like a marriage or a divorce or something to that extent with the Hierophant. Um, but I believe that you're going to be in a better, in better, hold on, in a, in, <laughs> bless my heart, in a better predicament than you were before it all happened, okay? I'm feeling like this, something's gonna come in that's going to put you in a better uh, financial spot. And then when I also get this Ace of Pentacles, you know, you guys probably already know, Aces are new beginnings and new chapters in your life and new, um, new situations coming in, kinda, in a good way. So when I get the Ace of Pentacles, it can mean financial gain. This one for sure does, in my mind, mean financial gain or financial freedom a little bit. But it also means that you're happy and you're secure and you're, you're healthy and, you know, you have um, a happiness level to you to where maybe you're not wealthy, 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 but maybe you're not struggling to pay your bills and you're very thankful for that. So I'm feeling like you may be getting something in that may be um, helping you out and it's, it's going to be a good feeling, I really do believe, for most of you all. And here's the thing, too, you guys, with, when I was saying with the Ace of Pentacles, the wheel card it just so happens to be in this picture, too. And with the wheel card, you know, this could be like the Wheel of Fortune. It could be new cycles coming in your life. New cycles, in my mind, don't happen every day. But, I mean, a new cycle can come come in for different things in your life. So let's say, okay, let's say this new cycle is coming in because you've won a disagreement and you've financially been rewarded for it for one reason or another. Maybe this is you all just fighting over a, and like I said, I'm not really saying literally fighting, but you're, you're arguing over a pay raise or your Christmas bonus or your, you know, your uh, health insurance or your your 401k your retirement plan whatever it is whatever you're arguing about or fighting for i feel like it's going to give you a boost of some sort so with this particular wheel i almost feel like that this new cycle and this new chapter that's coming in is regarding your finances, is regarding your job possibly, is regarding your career, your business, um, things like that. And it's a really good feeling because I feel like you might have options too. You know, when I get this Two of Pentacles, everybody reads the Two of Pentacles different, probably different than I do. I'm, I'm, I see it as options you're going to have. I see it as, um, you know, now some, some people may be juggling two things at once. So let me just say it like that too, because I'm kind of seeing that in my head. You may be juggling two jobs, for instance. You may be um, juggling two households. You may be juggling two different things. Um, maybe you're going to school and, and working and it's, you know, it's a getting to be a little much. Um, so you may be juggling a little bit, but I also see it as options. Like you're going to have two different options options you're going to have a and b and you're going to be able to pick and choose which one's the best for you so that gets me excited as well and then with the hierophant over here 
He can mean higher education. Maybe some of you all are thinking about schooling. He can also mean um, contracts and things like that. He can also be religious and spiritual. So some of you all, especially with this moon card too, could have your intuition and your instincts and your, uh, your gut feeling might be a lot stronger and you might, um, might, that might be why you're um, arguing about something that you know that you deserve or that you know that is right. And then all of a sudden when it comes through, you're like, see, I knew it was because my gut told me it was. So that's how I'm, I'm feeling with him. So he can go in, in different directions. But I feel like that you guys are, um, something's coming in for a lot of you all that you're going to be pleased with. And it could have to do with your finances. It could have to do with some sort of contracts. And it could have options and you would be able to pick and choose which one's the best for you. Now, when I get this Queen of Swords, I'm going half and half here on, on the Queen of Swords. Some of you all, this is a person, okay? This is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. This is a person that may be either you're arguing with or maybe helping you gain this financial. So it could be like an attorney. It could be someone that a boss or someone that you are disagreeing with and playing tug of war with. But I, now on the flip side of this, I feel like this could be your energy. I feel like this could be your intelligence, your truth that's coming out, your clarity, um, all kinds of, you know, this is about your mind. The swords are about your mind. So I feel like that you guys are taking charge and especially the way she's standing here, right? She's standing here looking at this saying, this is mine and I'm going to take it and I'm going to fight for it until it comes through. So that's similar to how I'm feeling about it. But on the flip side, it could be a person that you guys are dealing with, whether they're good or bad. Um, I'm just feeling like it could go in either direction for a lot of you all. Then I have this cornucopia. <laughs> For heaven's sakes, you all. I mean, this is uh, wishes and dreams coming true. This is blessings. This is important work paying off. This is you all getting something that you are um, fighting for or wanting or deserving. And all of a sudden I get this, the situation will improve in the near future. And then I have cornucopia. So if you guys are finding this reading and you're kind of hostile right at the moment because of something or someone or a situation that's not very, been very nice to you or not been very fair, I believe that's about to change and I believe that's about to flip and I'm tickled to tell you that. So um, you guys are probably tickled to hear that to be honest, especially if you're going through something right at this moment. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Let me show you something. I almost feel that this new cycle is about to come in. Um, hold on. Oops. Just throwing everything. Sorry. I feel like this. I might just leave that swords there because I almost think. Well, Mary, bless my heart. <laughs> uh, I'm just throwing stuff. Sorry, you all. Okay, I'm gonna make sure they're straight. Here's the thing. I feel like this Queen of Swords in one way could be a person, and either you're arguing and fighting or disagreeing with her or him, um, or this is a, um, a person that may be helping you get what you deserve, maybe an attorney or someone to that extent. But now on the flip side of that, I think this is your energy as well. This is you guys saying, no, this is right. I know that this is right and I'm going to stand up for it because this is the way it should be. I do think that at the beginning when you're probably, when you're first listening to me or here in a minute or it just happened, 
there's going to be hostilities and there's going to be um, tug of war with someone or a situation or a predicament that you might find yourself in. You're going to lose a little sleep over it at night. I got to be honest with you. Um, you're either going to go to bed and you can't get it off your mind because it's driving you crazy or you're going to wake up in the middle of the night and maybe not be able to fall back to sleep right away because it's just something that's just driving you nuts. Here's the thing with this moon card and this wheel. I almost feel like you all that this is a new cycle coming in regarding this situation, regarding your finances, regarding your job or your career or your business or whatever it may be that's bothering you right now. I feel like that with this moon card, there's going to be truth and clarity, just like this queen of swords, by the way truth and clarity and something's coming out and all of a sudden you're going to see the full picture you're going to you're going to know wait a minute that is why i didn't know the whole story there's going to be something hidden that you guys may not have seen or have heard or know about and all of a sudden it's going to come out and you're going to be like aha now i know why the, this is the way it is so with this wheel and that new cycle coming in it could cause um, you guys maybe want to go back to school, getting higher education with the Hierophant. It can also be religion or spiritual with the Hierophant. But it, he can also stand for contracts and things like that. So some of you all uh, may be dealing with some sort of contracts coming in or some sort of uh, something that may be helping you service-wise. Maybe you've got a business with service. Um, you know, it's going to be a little different for everyone. But maybe you may be either signing contracts for someone else or you may be getting contracts through your business or a company or something like that. I think you're going to have options here. And you also think that maybe some of you guys are juggling two different things at once and it might be wearing you plumb out but here in a minute I, I feel like it's going to be financially secure for a lot of you all and you're going to be um happy you know this ace of pentacles is just like a happy happy ace it's you know health and happiness and security and wealth and you're just you're you're really in a good predicament i feel so i think for the, the beginning of the new year and it might happen at the end of december because i do these a little early and it might happen at the end of january the beginning of february there's something coming in for a lot of you guys that's really going to make you excited and and happy and pleased so i think that that's something that you guys can look forward to because the situation is going to improve in the very near future and you're going to have cornucopia and this cornucopia is blessing and uh, wishes coming true and um, the universe helping you out and all kinds of really good stuff so overall in general if you do start out with this hostilities hang in there for a second it's all about to change I really do feel for a lot of you all okay so maybe it's some sort of news that you're gonna hear or some sort of um, financial reward or payment that you're going to get or that bonus or that um, insurance or whatever it is i feel like it's going to work itself out you're going to be thrilled very very soon this is a great reading sagittarius i hope you guys have enjoyed it this is your first half of january reading january 2021 um, january 1st to the 15th I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a happy new year, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.